welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how I transform my living room space. Hopefully, you can take some inspiration from it. Well, now that that has been said, let's get started. This is how my living room looked before. The chandelier was actually installed by me previously, and I have a video showing you how my living room was temporarily set up until I could transform it. I'll link it down below in case you want to watch it afterwards. First, I uninstall the curtains. These curtains actually belong to my bedroom, they're part of my bedding set. And a lot of you who watch my bedroom tour asked about them, so I will leave its information on the description box as well. The first step was to figure out the layout. This living room presented one unique challenge, which was this wall column that interfered with the symmetry of the design. Because of it, I could only use the middle of the remaining wall to place furniture. The problem was that if I placed furniture in the middle of that wall, it would be unaligned with the chandelier. So what I decided to do was to ignore the wall column and pretend that it wasn't there. I would do so by moving the furniture closer to the column and adding two wall sconces to each side along with side tables to enforce the symmetry, all while staying aligned with the chandelier for visual balance. The next step was to paint. When painting, you first want to cut all the corners with a brush. I know a lot of you might want to know what paint I'm using, I will leave its information on the description box as well. After all the edges were cut, I then use a paint roller to fill in the rest. Once the wall was painted, I went outside to spray paint the outlet covers. Now this is a step that many people ignore and that's a huge mistake. You can either spray paint your old ones or you can buy new ones with a better design. It's a small detail that makes a huge difference. Next, I changed the chandelier. Now, this chandelier is a four feet tall beauty. I absolutely love its shape. It was a dark gold color, so I had to modify it to fit my decor, and I will be dedicating a full video on how to transform a vintage chandelier. From how to place back your crystals to their original position, to how to paint it without losing its value. And most importantly, using a technique that will still make it look vintage and legitimate. This will be a separate video for anyone who might find this information useful. Once the chandelier was installed, I moved on to the window treatment. I have the tendency of making my window treatment instead of shopping for them. To me, it's a matter of convenience. By making them, I have more control over the measurement, color, and design. One thing that I always recommend is for you to install a curtain holder. Draping the curtain on it will instantly elevate your window treatment. I will link this crystal one down below. I also used it on my bedroom transformation as a door hook and it looks beautiful either way. Next, I transform some furnitures. This is another separate video that I'm planning on doing. I'll show you how to achieve this beautiful vintage silver trimming and also how to achieve the same champagne color with a silver undertone. Once it was painted, I used a paint sealer to maximize the longevity of the paint, and I also painted the inside with the same gray color from the walls. In the next video, I will also show you how to achieve the same look from the side tables as well. Once the paint was dried, I placed the china cabinet in its place, and it was a perfect fit. After, I spray painted the knobs. I always do this, I first spray paint it with silver, after I add a little bit of black and then I gently spray it with silver once again. This technique gives the object more dimension and it makes it look more legitimate. Here's a comparison between painting it with only silver against adding black. The difference to me is night and day and that's why I highly recommend this technique. Next, I transformed the sconces. I actually bought them from a church that decided to renovate. They are vintage, so I had to fully rewire them, and the smartest option was to make them a plug-in, which can be incredibly inconvenient. So I found this awesome life hack. Basically, it's a plug-in that allows your appliances to become remote control operated. 
the wireless capability of this specific kit is very impressive. I'll also link it down below in case you're in a similar circumstance. Now here comes the fun part. After doing all of this, I had to stop the transformation for multiple reasons, and a lot of time passed by. First, I want to introduce you to my new friend. I've been working on a couple of projects outside. One day I decided to serve a couple of nuts, and to my surprise, it came close by. After a while, it started to bring more of his friends along, and each day I get a tad bit closer to them. My intention is to eventually be able to pet it. Now the reason we are outside, here is where the magic takes place. I wanted to add vines to the walls and to the ceiling, and I went outside to select a couple of them from different tree types until I found the perfect one. I've always loved the look when tree branches grow on the walls. When I was younger and I saw those type of homes, I used to imagine a lonely tree walking by itself and when it saw a house, it decided to hug it. I first cut off all the greenery. After I mixed water and bleach and I poured it to wash any dirt and I left it to air dry for a couple of days before bringing them in. After I spread all the branches on the living room floor, there's no exact science to this. You need to play with the branches and see which one looks the best, cut them if necessary. It all depends on the space. I decided to add a branch hanging above one of the sconces. I also use these round cable wire clips. They are a perfect fit for the thinner branches of a tree. I'll also link them below in case you want to replicate this on your space. I first installed the vine above the sconce after I painted the clip to conceal it better. Then I dropped the branch above the cabinet for a more organic look and I also installed a couple more on the ceiling. I absolutely love how this turned out. It gives that magical touch that I need while still allowing the space to look mature. I added the side tables to each side after I installed the chandelier crystals. The chandelier has a total of 181 crystals. With this technique that I will teach you in the next video, you will know exactly where to place them. Regardless if you're planning on tackling a similar project in the near future, I still think it's a great skill to have, so I definitely recommend you give it a watch. After all the crystals were installed, the wall sconce was looking a little bare in comparison so I bought crystals online and I created a design to help it look more cohesive with the chandelier. After I replaced the clear glass of my coffee table with mirrors, having a mirrored coffee table is something I recommend, especially if you have a chandelier installed. It reflects the light beautifully. Moving on to the bookcase, I'm also preparing a video on how to properly style a bookcase with different techniques. The items you select to display are incredibly important because they can really define the character of your space. I'll also tell you what are the items that I recommend you getting. First, I install a mirror on the top shelf to once again celebrate the chandelier's reflection after I continue adding small items. Those who know me in real life know that I don't have any paintings in my house because I don't like compromising with shapes, that's why I decorate with mirrors so much. But lately I've noticed that I'm okay using images of famous photographers and especially if they're architectural photography, so that's the theme that I went for. Doing so also added a more contemporary touch to the space and it just works beautifully together. On this boring corner, I added an easel and I placed a large mirror to reflect the chandelier. I also added a couple of frames on the floor to tie in the bookcase to this area and I'm currently loving this trend. This used to be my least favorite part of this room and it's easily one of my favorites now. The reflection of the chandelier looks absolutely magical. After I just added some finishing touches, I added a couple of frames and pillows. 
I also added candles throughout the space and I placed this beautiful flower arrangement as the centerpiece. Finally, I turned all the candles on in honor of you, my dear guest. And once everything was in place, these are the final results. subscribe to my sister and my bunny's channel i'll leave these links down below also visit my online boutique and don't forget to follow me on instagram to stay in touch well now that that has been said once again thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video i wish you a very blessed day and 